When you see pictures in the past week or so of the Syrian man allegedly stabbing babies and toddlers with a knife at a French park, or even more recently with the African migrant in the UK who has allegedly killed three people and injured several others on his murderous rampage in Nottingham, I'm reminded of a simple fact that often gets overlooked by those living in the UK and many other Western nations. We cannot defend ourselves. You will all be aware by now that Ian Coates, Barnaby Webber, and Grace O'Malley Kumar were all killed in the early hours of Tuesday morning. My thoughts and prayers go out to these innocent victims and their families at this truly horrific time. I can only imagine what they are all going through. The alleged killer has still not been named, but is believed to be a migrant living in the UK. He used a van to drive over his victims, as well as stab them, as part of his attack. This animal is alleged to have killed these people, with no motive whatsoever. At least the press have not released any comments on this so far. All these people were doing was going about their daily lives. When events such as those in Nottingham and France happen, I often wonder what those at the scene can actually do to defend themselves. What on earth is someone meant to do if a big van is speeding towards them on a road, or on the pavement, or if someone comes up to you with a knife on the street? UK citizens are not allowed any form of self-protection equipment, whether this be lethal or non-lethal, as this article here states. In fact, you can be prosecuted and sent to jail for years for possession of equipment of this nature. In a case of the lesser of two evils, it could be easily argued that had someone at the time of these attacks in Nottingham had a knife, gun, or something even as simple as pepper spray, purely for defensive purposes, the attacker could have been stopped in his tracks, and lives may have been saved. Though at the same time, possession of such equipment is a crime in this country. By not breaking the law, and going out without such items, you are left only with your fists to defend yourself. This is particularly true in the case of the French Park attack. Many of the women with the children on the scene were elderly, likely to be grandmothers. What can an unarmed elderly woman do against a young man with a knife? Many people often criticise America for their gun laws being too lax. Of course, there are clearly strong arguments against easy access to guns, school shootings in the US being an obvious one. However, the park attack presents a completely different argument. If you were to give a middle-aged or elderly woman the choice between her being unarmed and the attacker having a knife, or her having a gun and the attacker having a gun, I would propose that the latter option is clearly more favourable. In the UK, even when a 78-year-old pensioner had a burglar enter their home and acted in self-defence by taking their life, they were still arrested for murder, even though someone else had been trespassing on their property. With all the gang members, potential terrorists and other degenerates in society, to an extent it is understandable why guns, pepper spray and other defensive equipment is outright banned. One could argue that the aim of such measures is to stop these people accessing such items. Nevertheless, such laws do not stop the stabbings and shootings happening in the UK. How often to the news do we hear about such stories? And how many do we not hear about either? Law-abiding citizens who have no intention or means of acquiring such items are thus left unable to defend themselves. I think that needs to change. What did you think of this video? Do you agree with my stance? Or do you think I'm wrong? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments. And again, of course, my thoughts and prayers go out to the victims and their family. I'll say a prayer for them, and I encourage you to do the same.